a new comprehensive classification has been introduced by the Tricuspid Valve Academic Research Consortium. There are three categories in this classification with a few sub-classifications as well. Secondary TR is divided into atrial secondary tricuspid regurgitation and ventricular secondary tricuspid regurgitation just as in the case of mitral regurgitation. TR associated with cardiac implantable electronic device CIED leads has been divided into type A where the lead is causing TR and type B in which CIED lead is just an incidental finding. Primary TR contributes to only 5 to 10 percent and could be degenerative due to prolapse or fly leaflet, congenital as an apical displacement of Epstein's anomaly or acquired as in tumors, trauma, carcinoid, rheumatic heart disease or radiation. Secondary TR is the commonest contributing to 80 percent. Ventricular secondary TR could be due to heart failure, either heart failure with preserved ejection fraction or heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. Left sided valvular lesions causing post capillary pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary cause for pre capillary pulmonary hypertension, or due to a right ventricular cause with RV dilatation or dysfunction as an RV infarct or dysplasia. Atrial secondary TR is due to right atrial or tricuspid annular dilatation which could be related to age, atrial fibrillation or heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. CIED related TR contributes to around 10 to 15 percent and in the causative variety, leaflet impingement, perforation, valvular or subvalvular adhesions or restriction may be seen. In the incidental variety, the CIED lead is present without interfering the tricuspid valve apparatus. Pathology will be that of the primary disease process. So, it will be one of the previous classes.